Carl in Palm Harbor, Florida, the Sunshine State. All right, they got some good, uh, got some good grapefruits. I I love a grapefruit called a pomelo. If you've never tried a pomelo, I get them at Trader Joe's during this time of the year. They're a winter fruit, and oh my gosh, they're good. If you like grapefruits, but anyway, there's Paul going off track again. <laughs> My wife said, wait a minute, you can't say grapefruits. Anyway, okay, Paul, can you make a microphone to DSD direct live recording? Skipping all the mixers and equipment in between, and also use high quality mic cables and power cords with AC treatment added on top. Would this be the ultimate process from a quality standpoint? Absolutely, oh yeah, oh yeah. And people do that all the time. If you take, so here would be the chain. If you take a high quality pair of microphones and you space them apart far enough and they go in this, the following chain, they're going to go into microphone preamplifiers that takes the output of the microphones, raises it up. Then we're going to go into an analog to digital converter and inside that analog to digital converter, if we're doing DSD, there is what's called an SDM, or a sigma delta modulator. And the sigma delta modulator is where the magic happens. So at Octave Records, we're going, right now, most of our recordings are at 64 FS, which is 64 times faster or higher sample rate than, uh, than CD. But we will be going to um, uh, 500, uh, 4x DSD, if you will, which is, what is it, 64, 128, 5, 512, I don't remember, I'm not very good at math, but it's, it's really fast, it runs at about 11 megahertz, and a CD runs at 44,000 hertz, so you can see the difference, 11 million samples a second versus 44,000 samples a second, and that captures everything. But in any case, so microphones, preamplifiers, A to D converter inside is a SDM, a sigma delta modulator, which converts the analog signal into this, this analogish digital DSD, and from there, straight onto a hard drive. And that's it. From that, we can play the hard drive back, we can reverse the process through a D to A processor, use one of ours, use one of yours, and we get perfection. What comes out is going to be perfect. Now, why wouldn't we do that? Why at Octave Records did we build the big studio and we have, you know, 50 microphones and we have 32 channels of the same process? Well, a lot of things can't be captured as well just completely live, but here's what's cool. Here's what's really cool. From that simple example, two microphones in stereo going directly through the preamps A to D converter and into the hard drive is exactly what happens times 32 when we make a big recording. You still have the exact same unimpeded steps. We're using all AudioQuest cables. It's all the best you can buy. Everything runs on our power plants. So everything you've asked for is still there, whether we use two channels or 32 channels, every one of them is as pure as the next one. And then it comes down to the mix and all that other stuff. So in answer to your question, yes, absolutely we can do that. We don't do that in some cases because, oh gosh, well, we'll get into that. Um, there's some things that work great in a live recording and some things that don't. And over time, and at Octave Records, I will, and Jessica, all the people that run it are gonna help explain why that's true in some cases and why it's not in others. So stay tuned for that. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.